All right, so what is up guys? In this video, I wanted to show you how to create a marquee text. And let me just show you exactly what that is. So when we click on this text view, you'll see that it will slightly move to the left, nice and slowly, like when you see those news channels. And it's just good for showing more information. Maybe your screen size, uh, your text size on the screen is too big for the user when they change it that they can't really see settings correctly or something else correctly. So it's nice to have this just moving slowly, slowly, so the user can see more information. And it looks really good and it's very easy to create. So let's just jump right into it. Let's close this screen. And immediately we can go to our main activity XML. This is gonna be more of a XML item than a coding item. So the first thing we're gonna do is destroy this constraint layout and replace it with a relative layout. And we can just write center and parent here to keep things simple. And of course, we want you to find a string resource. So we have to go to strings first, just so we can store things nice and efficiently. So go ahead and find a long string on the web or create your own. I'm just gonna copy and paste lorem ipsum as always, just because that's very simple and you can find that everywhere on the web. And I'm gonna give that string an ID of long underscore string. Then in activity main, we can go to where it says text and we can write add string long string. And it's gonna write all of that right there. There's a lot we have to write in here. So let's get started immediately by writing uh, margin is gonna be 10 dp. Then we're gonna write text color. We want that to be a nice black, add a text size. So we can actually see it, I'm gonna do 20 sp. We want this to be a single line and we're gonna write that to true. And we have to also write scroll horizontally, set that to true, marquee, repeat limit, and we want that forever. Later, you can actually adjust that. You can maybe write one or two, depending on how many times you want it to go over. I think marquee forever is quite appropriate. Ellipse size, and that's gonna be marquee. And finally, we're gonna write fading edge and we're gonna write horizontal for that. Then I just did Control plus Alt plus L just to tidy things up a bit to add it to a standard format. And actually, I forgot to add an ID, so we're just going to go ID TV underscore text so that when we go to our main activity, we can do TV underscore text and set an on click listener. And the only thing you have to do to make this text uh, marquee, uh, this marquee text work is TV underscore text dot is selected and you have to set that to true. You don't need to set an on click listener if you don't want to. I just did it for the purposes of this video so you can actually see that when we click on it, it will make the text marquee work. So that can be useful if you are clicking on separate items and you wanna see more information. Otherwise you can just set it to true and it will continuously flow by itself. But as you can see, we have the same screen as from before. And when we click on it, it will start the text marquee. And that's actually all there is to creating a marquee text. And it's quite a lot of XML. There's not really much code involved, but it's very useful to know because it looks really good and you can add it to many places to make your app look amazing. But thanks for watching this video. If it was useful for you, please leave a like and I will see you in the next video.